Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and today I'm going to talk about the new product by Chessbase Opening Encyclopedia 2020. I have already made a video on Opening Encyclopedia 2019. So much of what I speak here would be what are the new features and also we will touch upon all the interesting things that are included in this Opening Encyclopedia. So a double click will open up the product. And as you see here on the left is a menu for you to navigate. Now this is the introduction where you can read about what are the things included in this product. We go to the second tab which is ideas for your repertoire and I would say this is one of the main parts the meat of this entire product. And it has been segregated in different opening themes. So there are open games, semi-open games, closed games, semi-closed games, English opening and flank openings. So when you click on open games, you get the different openings inside it, which is Rui Lopez, Italian, Two Knights, Four Knights, Scotch, Petrov, Vienna, Philidor, King's Gambit. Now, one of the things which I have always struggled with is to find a good antidote against King's Gambit. I know that it's not a very powerful opening, but let me see if I can see if something can be done with black. So here you can see that white can actually play third move bishop c4, third move knight f3 and there are all these different lines given here and there are also surveys inside it which we'll come to it. Um, let me click here and you will see that an entire Serve, uh, sort of an opening report is generated. So here you can see good replies to three bishop c4 and other attempts at justification. It's written by Martin Brottigam. Uh, and there are the games for the article and related products in the shop. So when I click on games for the article, I already get all the games in a database. So I can just click on it and play through the games if I don't want to read the entire summary uh, I can just play through all the analysis that is given here uh, by the author but let's go back and try to understand what he's speaking so here he gives an introduction to the system and then which knight move is the best after bishop c4 so he talks about knight e7 knight c6 knight f6 and then he speaks why knight e7 does not work well and then he goes why knight c6 is no refutation but why knight f6 works so well. So you understand that okay knight f6 is a good move and then when you have actually read what he has to say you can click on this game it opens it up and then you can play through it with the analysis by the author and uh, this is very useful. So this is how uh, you can learn a lot. There is also a background maneuver which comes here after knight c3 and uh, queen h4 check, king e2, queen e7. And so you, you get ready-made recommendations by a strong player who has studied it along with analysis and that is very useful. I remember that when I actually uh, got the first time the opening encyclopedia which was several years ago I used it to learn something in the King's Indian and uh, this was also by uh, Martin Brottigam it was known as the Smithslow system and he's one of my favorite authors and this has become a part of my repertoire ever since the idea is to put uh, basically I can I can just open a game and show you uh, the idea is to go d4, knight f3, c4 and then knight c3 and develop your bishop to g5 and then play uh, if he goes d6 then to play e3 and I, I learned it from this very um, survey uh, sorry opening report and this was very very useful uh, for me and it, I, I built an entire system around it.
actually this entire product has 1160 opening reports which is an amazing number just take any opening and you will find something about it so if you go to say you are a sicilian player then you can go to semi open games go inside sicilian and night of variation itself has 44 uh, opening reports which is just amazing you can get from Igor Stoll or Tachnik. Uh, you can click here by Konokowski. All different Postni, different strong players have spoken about different lines. And these are basically um, ideas for you. Like one night before a game, you can actually click here, get, a, get an idea and start working on it. And you can play it tomorrow. And also... Uh, if you are looking for building up your repertoire, then you can get an idea from here and then make it better. So this was all about ideas for your repertoire. Uh, it's one of the most powerful tabs in this product. You go to opening videos and I think this is really interesting. What uh, they have done is that they have given openings now by themes. So open games, semi open games. So with E4, E5, you have Erwin Lamy. Then you have Daniel King uh, over here, Yannick Pelletier, Lawrence Trent, Mihail Marin, really good authors. And if you go to Sicilian, you have King, Trent, Shiro, Muzichuk, um, Daniel King on Grand Prix, then uh, Jonas Lampert. Uh, if you go to closed openings, you have uh, Daniel King. Robert Riss, there is Vidit Gujarati as well, very interesting. Ivan Sokolov, Mihail Marin, Christian Bauer, Daniel King, Yannick Pelletier, Vishnu Prasanna, who's speaking about an anti London system with Bishop E7, Simon Williams, Andrew Martin. Uh, and here you will see Yannick Pelletier, Robert Riss, and there's also one by me, Sagar Shah, here. Vidit H4 for white in the Grunfeld, Shiro. So you can see a lot of good players have come together and there are 40 videos here. Each video roughly around the size of 10 to 20 minutes. So that gives you nearly 10 hours worth of content in here. Uh, the new thing which has been built up over here is opening tutorials. So if I go here. Now opening tutorials is a new tab that has been developed and this one is really useful for people who are still trying to figure out what they want to play in the opening. They are not sure. So for example, if you don't know what the Evans Gambit is, just click here and you will get a short summary about it. So after B4, it says towards the end of 1820s, ship captain William Davis Evans worked out a gambit against the Italian game which would soon start a victory procession through the world of chess. The attacking players of the age quickly recognized what a dangerous weapon they had received as a present and they made use of it as a welcome alternative to the King's Gambit. Anderson's famous evergreen game against Dufresne started as an Evans Gambit and Paul Morphy, best player of his day, played it almost exclusively against Bishop c5. So you can get a nice summary, then also a few key lines here. You don't have a board to play through this, but there are very few moves mentioned. It's just basically an overview to, for you to get to know this system in much bigger detail. Uh, so once you are sure that, okay, uh, Evans Gambit is something interesting that I want to play, then you can actually go to ideas for your repertoire and then inside it, you can learn about the Evans Gambit where there will be opening reports. But the opening tutorials basically are just these small little things which are given here. It would be around say 300 to 500 words and you get to know about different systems, anything. So for example, let's say I want to know about a certain system uh, which are flank openings. And uh, let me go here and see if there's something that black knights tango. So now this is basically knight f6, knight c6. So I just go here and read about it. This opening is also called the Mexican defense because it was played by the Mexican GM Carlos Torre. 
in view of the dancing movements carried out by the knights in many variations. So then it says chasing the knight away immediately with d5, knight e5 is obvious but achieves nothing for white after e4, e6. If you take by the way knight into e4 there is queen d4, yes. Uh, but after e4, e6 the bishop f8 can enter into play via c5 or b4. Uh, and the further chasing of black knights with f4, knight g6, e5, knight g8, uh, sorry, knight e4, not knight g8, uh, simply overextends white center. So if white plays knight c3 here, then you go e5, d5, knight e7, e4, and then if the knight goes to g6, white can go h4. And if instead of knight c3 on move 3, if you go knight f3, what happens? So basically within like 10 minutes, you will understand what the tango is all about. You get an idea and then you can decide, okay, this is my taste. I want to learn it. And I think very good for people who don't know specific openings to get an idea about the same. Uh, it's also there in the Sicilian, like different systems. What is the Nidorf? It's the sharp, sharpest Sicilian, as they say. Then the Shveshnikov, dynamism versus structure. The dragon, simpler than you might think. Scheveningen, perfect control of the center. Richter, Richter Rouser is Kramnik's first love. Uh, play like Anand. Rosolimo is secret weapon, bishop b5. Alapin is slightly different Sicilian and here a lot of room for creativity. So, so explore this opening tutorials over here and then you have the games database when you click here or you click the games tab it takes you to the same place. It's basically all the games that are there uh, in different opening reports are put together here. You will see all of them are annotated so you have a very nice um, sort of mix of all the games here you can search something in here for example if i want to learn the evans gambit as we just saw right now then i can just make the moves right click go to uh, filter basically um, edit filter games or i can press ctrl f and i can go advanced position copy board okay and here are all the games of Ivan's Gambit analyzed by this is by Yelena Dembo. Um, then you can also have by Lukacs and Hazai. And also at the end we have Anderson versus Dufresne, which is the evergreen game analyzed by none other than Gary Kasparov. So this is how the games tab works here. Uh, this is the games database and by the way there are close to 38,706 games in here. Uh, the next thing is the surveys and this is uh, very interesting because here you can find 6,888 surveys which is a huge number and each game is a survey in itself. It's not like those opening reports where it has been properly uh, all the explanation has been given, the recommendations are given. Here, basically everything is covered. So here uh, you will see that Tachnik has given a survey to this line. So again, I think the first step would be to check out like here the opening tutorials which gives you a basic idea. If you want some recommendations, very specific ones, you go to ideas for your repertoires. If you want basically what's happening in this line, just the truth, basically a survey, then you go for these surveys where you get something like 20 odd moves in every opening which have been explained by a good player, a grandmaster and every move is kind of analyzed. So here there are not full games but as you can see after G6, Anand was winning this game against Maxim Vashir Lakrao. And this is all nicely explained here. Different surveys for different openings. You can also play through the moves. For example, if you want a survey on B3, what's going on? And I'll just go here. Uh, filter games. Advanced. 
position copy board and okay and i get all the surveys of regarding b3 what's happening here with all the analysis and this can be really useful lastly for all those who like ECO lists, I think now no one really remembers all the numbers, what's A00, what's A01. But there were players who knew from A00 to E99, that's totally 500 ECO codes on the tip of their tongue. And for them, if they say, ah, okay, what about uh, Sicilian Paulson B49, then they can go here and click and they get all the uh opening reports in this manner through the eco code so this is not for me i guess if you know the opening codes uh, eco codes then that is useful for you so coming back and a final summary of what we have seen uh, there are opening reports 1160 for you there are 40 opening videos uh, that's really very interesting content by top players you have opening tutorials of all the openings which are 300 to 500 words and with some variations about the main systems in uh, in different openings and you have the game database where you have 38706 games most of which are annotated and 6888 surveys uh, finally the bifurcation by eco lists i hope that you uh, enjoyed this small product uh, review that I put forth to you and that uh, you will find value in opening encyclopedia 2020 I as a player who, who used to play professionally and now also for preparing different stuff find it extremely useful and I hope you too will as well this is Sagar Shah signing off thank you so much